Hey guys, it's Owen from Wrestling Inc. back with another wrestling news roundup. Without any further ado, let's get into today's biggest stories in the world of professional wrestling. Cesaro reportedly gone from WWE. Cesaro has reportedly left WWE. Cesaro quietly exited WWE after his contract expired according to PW Insider. He was originally scheduled to be at tonight's Smackdown in Hershey, Pennsylvania, but he will not be there as he is no longer with the company. It was noted that WWE and Cesaro had been in contract negotiations, but they could not come to terms on a new deal. Cesaro is reportedly free to sign with anyone he wants to as he is not under any kind of non-compete clause due to the contract expiring. In an update, Fightful Select reports that the immediate reaction to the departure from people within WWE was disappointment and dismay as Cesaro was one of the most universally liked talents on the roster. It was as far back as October when Cesaro began talking to some of his co-workers about possibly leaving WWE when his deal came up in February, telling them he wasn't sure if he'd be hanging around. Sources noted that Cesaro didn't necessarily provide a reason for leaving when saying goodbyes to some, but others indicated reasonable disappointment on his part with how he was used, things he was left out of, and spots he didn't get to fill. There were WWE sources that spoke highly of Cesaro's professionalism in handling his last match, the February 11th SmackDown loss to Happy Baron Corbin, and how he finished up with the company. Cesaro's departure is not a case of WWE not wanting him there. He was reportedly offered a new contract, but WWE sources say it was rejected. It was also said there's a real possibility that Cesaro ends up re-signing with WWE until he signs with someone else. Numerous sources within WWE report that the departure does not appear to be the door completely closed kind of situation and that Cesaro did not burn his bridge. Cesaro, age 41, last wrestled on the February 11th SmackDown in the aforementioned loss to Corbin. The Swiss Superman had wrestled just five matches in 2022, a loss in each bout, teaming with Ricochet for a loss to Sheamus and Ridge Holland at WWE Day 1, teaming with Mansoor for a fatal four-way loss to the Viking Raiders on the January 14th SmackDown, teaming with Ricochet for the two Day 1 rematch losses on the January 28th and February 4th SmackDown shows, and then the February 11th loss to Corbin. Cesaro signed with WWE in 2011 after a successful run on the Indies and Ring of Honor. He leaves WWE a five-time Raw slash WWE Tag Team Champion, a two-time SmackDown Tag Team Champion, and a one-time WWE United States Champion. He also won the inaugural Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale at WrestleMania 30 in 2014. There has been no update on if Cesaro has heard from AEW, Impact Wrestling, or New Japan Pro Wrestling since news of his departure broke yesterday afternoon, but we will keep you updated. Backstage update on Brian Cage's AEW future. It looks like Brian Cage will be staying with AEW. There has been a lot of rumor and speculation on Cage's AEW future as of late, but now Fightful Select reports that word going around the locker room at Wednesday's AEW Dynamite was that Cage has told friends that the company has picked up the option year on his contract. Cage was said to be very surprised by his option year being picked up as he and virtually everyone on the AEW roster thought his contract would simply expire and that he would become a free agent. As noted, several AEW stars have had their contracts coming due, but AEW President, CEO, General Manager and Head of Creative Tony Khan had the option to renew most of them for one more year. Cage continues to work for top indie promotions, but there is still no update on when he might return to the ring for AEW. Cage has not wrestled a regular AEW show since losing the street fight to FTW champion Ricky Starks on the October 8th edition of Rampage, despite being backstage for most events. Cage did work four matches on Chris Jericho's Rock and Wrestling Rager at Sea Triple Whammy Cruise in late October, but those were his last AEW matches. He defeated Angelico on day one, teamed with Christopher Daniels for a loss to Angelico and Isaiah Cassidy on day two, defeated Cassidy on day three, and defeated Serpent on day four. AEW has not confirmed the contract extension for Cage as of this recording, but this is what he has told people this week. News on which night of WrestleMania 38 will feature Ronda Rousey vs Charlotte Flair. 
Ronda Rousey vs SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair is set to take place on night one of WWE WrestleMania 38. Fox Sports confirmed yesterday afternoon that Rousey vs Flair will be one of the matches that takes place during WrestleMania 38 night one. Fox noted that there is no word on if Rousey vs Flair will headline night one of WrestleMania 38, but it will be on the card for night one. We noted before how Sports Illustrated reported that Rousey vs Flair would be the main event of Night 1, while the winner takes all match between WWE Champion Brock Lesnar and WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns would headline Night 2. Those main events still have not been confirmed. Jeff Hardy issues update to his going to AEW comments. Jeff Hardy took to Twitter yesterday evening with a rare tweet on his pro wrestling future, a response to the viral comments he made on going to AEW earlier this week. As noted before, YouTube creator Jared Myers interviewed Hardy at one of his recent concert dates and Hardy stated he was going to AEW soon. Quote, I'm going to AEW, Jeff said in the interview recorded a few days back. I'm so excited, until this morning I didn't really know, I'm so nervous and excited. In an update, Hardy seemed to backtrack on going to AEW just a bit, but is likely covering for himself since he is still under a 90-day non-compete clause with WWE. Quote, Nothing is official social media. It can't be right now. I've simply set a goal for myself and I will achieve it. Dot, dot, dot. Eventually, the main thing is don't get excited, Hardy wrote on Twitter yesterday. Hardy will reportedly become a free agent from WWE when his non-compete expires at the end of Wednesday, March 9th. There have been rumours and speculation on Jeff joining his brother Matt Hardy in AEW and this was even teased on AEW Dynamite earlier this month. Hardy has been on a mini concert tour as of late promoting his music and art. He and Matt have announced their final run tour. The tour kicks off on Saturday, March 12 at a big time wrestling event in Webster, as the Hardy Boys will face the winners of the Sat versus the Briscoes earlier on in the night. Bobby Lashley pulled from advertising for WWE MSG event. Bobby Lashley is no longer being advertised for the WWE live event from Madison Square Garden on March 5th. It was originally advertised that Brock Lesnar would be defending the WWE Championship against Lashley. As we've noted, Bobby Lashley was in Birmingham, Alabama on Monday at the Andrew Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center to meet with WWE doctors about his shoulder. Lashley has been dealing with a shoulder injury since his Royal Rumble victory over Brock Lesnar. WWE has since then issued a storyline injury to Bobby Lashley. The storyline injury is that Lashley suffered a concussion on Saturday in the Elimination Chamber when Seth Rollins launched Austin Theory through Lashley's pod with a buckle bomb. He was later removed from the match. WWE and A&E to announce big news soon. WWE and A&E are teasing big news to be announced soon. As can be seen on social media, the official WWE on A&E Twitter account posted a teaser yesterday and said big news is coming soon. Quote, watch this space WWE fans, big news is coming soon, hashtag WWE on A&E, they wrote. The announcement is scheduled to at least include a new season of the A&E Biography WWE Legends series, according to PW Insider. There's no word on if another show will be also announced or which legends will be featured on Season 2. Season 1 of Biography WWE Legends ran on A&E from April 18 to June 6 of last year, featuring eight two-hour documentaries on WWE Hall of Famers Steve Austin, Roddy Piper, Randy Savage, Booker T, Shawn Michaels, The Ultimate Warrior, Mick Foley and Brett. At heart. A&E also ran WWE's Most Wanted Treasures from April 18 to June 20th of last year. That show featured Triple H and Stephanie McMahon instructing former WWE superstar AJ Francis to meet up with various stars to search the country for rare collectibles to be kept in the WWE warehouse. There is no word on if there will be a season 2 of Most Wanted Treasures. So what are your thoughts on today's Wrestling News Roundup? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wrestling Inc. And I'll speak for you again very, very soon.